Ever found yourself pondering over the peculiar patterns on a zebra? Why do zebras have stripes? It's a question that has baffled scientists and curious minds alike for ages. The black and white stripes of a zebra are as unique as they are iconic. But why? Why are these magnificent creatures dressed in such a distinctive pattern? Well, let's peel back the layers of this mystery. For years, people have spun tales and theories to explain the zebra's stripes. Some have suggested that the stripes act as a form of camouflage, helping zebras blend into their grassy habitats. This theory, while visually interesting, doesn't quite hold up to scrutiny. After all, to a lion, a zebra's main predator, a zebra in a field looks less like a field of grass and more like a tasty black and white snack. Others have proposed that the stripes might serve as a social function, helping zebras identify each other. Again, this theory is intriguing but not entirely convincing. Zebras, like most animals, have an excellent sense of smell and hearing. They can recognize each other by scent and sound, making visual identification less important. Then there's the hypothesis that the stripes help regulate body temperature. The idea is that the black stripes absorb more heat than the white ones, creating air currents that cool the zebra. It's a fascinating theory but, once again, lacks substantial evidence. So, we've debunked some common misconceptions, but we're still left with the burning question, why do zebras have stripes? Well, as it turns out, the answer to this riddle might be more complex than we thought. It seems that the zebra's stripes might serve multiple purposes, each contributing to the animal's survival in its own unique way. It's a puzzle that scientists are still trying to piece together. So, the question remains, why do zebras have stripes? Let's dive into the science to seek the answer. But remember, like all great mysteries, the journey to the truth is as important as the destination. Let's embark on this journey together and see where it takes us. Over the years, scientists have proposed various theories to explain this phenomenon. Indeed, the zebra's unique fashion choice has sparked much debate in the scientific community. First up, we have the camouflage theory. Yeah, you heard right, camouflage. It seems counterintuitive, doesn't it? These black and white stripes standing out in the green and brown savanna. But think about it. In the dappled light and shadow of the early morning or late afternoon, the stripes could break up the zebra's outline, making it harder for predators to focus on a single target. However, this theory hits a roadblock when you consider that lions, the zebra's main predator, are colorblind. To them, zebras would appear as large grayish blobs, irrespective of their stripes. So much for the camouflage theory. Next, we have the confusing predators theory. This one's a bit of a mind-bender. The idea is that when zebras are grouped together, their mingling stripes create a sort of optical illusion, making it difficult for predators to single out an individual from the herd. It's like trying to find Waldo in a sea of striped pajamas. But again, this theory has its critics. Some argue that zebras often scatter when threatened, making the optical illusion irrelevant. Then there's the social interaction theory. This suggests that zebras use their stripes for identification, much like human fingerprints. Each zebra's stripe pattern is unique after all, but critics point out that other herd animals manage just fine without such distinctive markings. While these theories are fascinating, none of them have been proven conclusively. But don't lose hope, the answer might be right under our noses. So, keep your thinking caps on and your eyes peeled. The mystery of the zebra's stripes continues, and who knows, you might be the one to crack the code. In recent years, a new theory has emerged that seems to hold the answer to our question. What if the key to the zebra's stripes isn't about blending into the grasslands or confusing predators, but about pesky pests? This new theory suggests that stripes act as a deterrent to biting flies, such as horseflies and setsaflies. These flies are not just annoying, they are also carriers of diseases that can be fatal to zebras. Now you might be wondering why would stripes deter flies? Well it all boils down to how flies see the world. Flies have compound eyes, which means their vision is made up of thousands of individual images. This makes their perception of the world quite different from ours. To a fly, a striped surface is incredibly confusing. It's like trying to land on a moving optical illusion. The result? The fly avoids the stripes and the zebra gets a break from the biting and buzzing. Now this is more than just a theory. It's backed by a body of experimental evidence. In one study, researchers painted horse models with different patterns, black, white, and striped. They found that the striped model attracted far fewer flies than the other two. In another experiment, real horses were dressed in striped coats. The result was the same. The stripes deterred the flies. It seems the confusing optical illusion created by the stripes messes with the fly's ability to land. 
But the real clincher came when researchers looked at where zebras live. They found that the more biting flies in an area, the more likely zebras were to have stripes. This correlation strongly suggests that the stripes are a response to the flies. So, could this be the answer to our stripe mystery? It seems so. But remember, in science, theories evolve just like species do. So while the fly deterrent theory holds the floor today, who knows what we'll discover tomorrow. You might ask, why do biting flies bother zebras so much that they evolved stripes? Well, the answer lies in evolution's grand scheme. It's a tale of survival, adaptation, and a relentless battle against some of nature's smallest yet most vexing creatures, biting flies. It may seem strange to think that such a small insect could influence the evolution of a large mammal like a zebra. However, biting flies are more than just a nuisance. They are vectors for diseases that can be debilitating, even deadly. Now let's take a step back and imagine a time when zebras didn't have their iconic stripes. The sun is beating down on the African plains and the zebras are a solid dark color. This makes them an easy target for biting flies as they are attracted to large, dark and warm objects. The zebras didn't have much of a defense against these pesky flies, but over time, through the process of natural selection, zebras with unusual mutations, like stripes, began to appear. And it turned out that these stripes had a surprising effect. You see, the alternating pattern of white and black stripes disrupts the fly's vision. It's like trying to land on a moving optical illusion. The flies become disoriented and are less likely to land on and bite the zebras. This means that striped zebras were less likely to catch diseases from the flies. They were healthier, lived longer, and had more offspring, passing on their striped genes to the next generation. Over thousands of years, the stripes became more and more common, until they were the norm. And that's how, through the process of natural selection, zebras got their stripes. So, while the stripes may make zebras stand out on the savanna, they also provide a crucial line of defense against biting flies. It's a wonderful example of how evolution can shape a species in unexpected ways. It's amazing how a simple pattern of stripes could be a zebra's best defense against pesky flies. So, there you have it, a possible solution to the zebra's stripe mystery. We've traversed the plains of speculation, sifted through theories and perhaps just perhaps we may have stumbled upon an answer. The enigma of why zebras have stripes has fascinated us for centuries, and it's a testament to the power of curiosity and scientific inquiry. Looking back we've explored a myriad of theories from camouflage to social interaction. We've seen how some theories have been refuted while others have gained traction. We've delved into the breakthrough that proposed the role of stripes in warding off pesky, disease-carrying flies, and we've looked into the evolutionary perspective that suggests how natural selection may have favored the striped pattern for its survival benefits. This journey through the zebra's stripes is more than just a quest for answers. It's a reflection of how we, as humans, interact with the natural world. It's about how we observe, question, and strive to understand the intricate tapestry of life that surrounds us. It's about how we use science as a tool to unravel the mysteries of the world, one stripe at a time. But let's not forget, scientific knowledge is ever-evolving. Today's breakthrough could be tomorrow's refuted theory. That's the beauty of science. It's a perpetual journey of discovery, a constant quest for truth. And in that quest, we learn, grow, and better understand our place in the grand scheme of things. As we conclude, let's appreciate the humble zebra, not just for its striking appearance, but for the lessons it teaches us about the natural world, about evolution, and about the power of scientific inquiry. The zebra, with its unique striped coat, serves as a reminder of the wonders that lie in wait, ready to be discovered. Remember, in the world of science, nothing is ever black and white except maybe a zebra's stripes. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to hit that like button and for more fascinating content, do subscribe to our channel.